What's up, guys? I'm Yoshi Skamor, and today I've got a battle against Skunk1234543321 from my Twitch stream. And now, um, before we get started, let me clear this up. This is a RU. This is an RU battle. I have never, ever, 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 ever done an RU battle before until this battle. So, I am a complete novice. If you guys are watching this video to get some RU strategy or like want to learn how to play RU, don't watch this video. If you want to, well, you should still watch this video, but I am not the man to watch for RU strategy and stuff like that. That's that's all that's OU. But uh, anyway, I wanted to give this uh, tier a tier a try, so Skunk was kind enough to uh, make me a team. And um, this is the team right here. I got Jolteon, Jellison, Drapion, Claydol, Electros, and Braviary. And um, since this was on stream when we were battling, I w uh, it was the first battle. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't the first battle stream, but. Anyway, I wanted to get the battle started really quickly since we were on stream. I didn't want to take too long between battles. So, uh, I just threw some items on there that probably were not the best items to put on some of these Pokemon. And as we'll be able to see, that ends up biting me in the back. But, um, uh, before, I don't want to talk too much about it. Let's just uh, get into the battle. So, um, as we'll be able to see, I decided to lead off with my Jolteon because it has a pretty good matchup against most of his team. Um, let me see. It has a pretty good matchup against... At least three, maybe like four or five. It is, it, yeah, it's a good matchup against like five of this team. You know, even the ones that it doesn't have a good matchup against, it could just full switch out. So, um, he leads off with, uh, he leads off with Cobalion, and, uh, I use Volt Switch. And that does about clean maybe 60% to that Cobalion. And I'm gonna switch into my Jelson, expecting him to go for like a fighting type move or something. But, uh, like I said before, guys, I'm completely new to RU. I don't know if this is common, common or not. But Cobalion goes for Stealth Rocks. I didn't even know Cobalion could learn Stealth Rocks, so that came as a shock to me. And um, anyway, now I'm thinking to go for the Scald because I kind of expected him to switch, but uh, and I could just Scald whatever came in. But he actually goes for the Taunt, which I also didn't know Cobalion could learn. But whatever, that's fine because I went for the Scald anyway. And uh, I get thankfully I get the Burn on him, which is gonna be really helpful to uh, get some residual damage on that thing, especially considering it has leftovers and it's uh, very bulky. And on this next turn, Sword of Dance goes for Volt Switch, which I also didn't know Cobalion could learn. Uh, but it does absolutely zero damage, so I guess Cobalion has just really bad special attack or something like that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have Sword Dance, because if it did, that would mean it has no attack moves. But whatever, I guess that nickname is just to trick people like me. Anyway, now he, uh, he will switch us into this Ludicolo, this ridiculous Ludicolo, and I go for the Skull. Sorry about that, uh, guys, if you hear background noise or something, because uh, I'm trying to... Uh, my idiot brother is running in here right now. But anyway, I go for the Scald on that Ludicolo and I get the burn. Yeah, guys. There's my brother. I just heard that. Anyway, now I uh, switched to my Drapion because I think I could take a uh, Geek Jam, which is what I expected him to go for. And then I could just bounce back with a Poison Jab because I didn't think, at least, that there was anything on his team that could really take a Poison Jab. Like, really take a Poison Jab. But, um... Little did I know that him on top apparently has like crazy defense or the straight beyond just sucks or I, I, I don't know. And oh my god, Sean, shut up. Sorry about that, guys. My brother and his friend are like running up the stairs. Anyway, so now I go for the uh, poison jab. But uh, he says this hit on top, like I said before. And that thing has intimidate, so that's going to lower my attack. But I mean, it, it, still, even without that intimidate, this thing ate this up. Like, even without out the intimidate, that would have done no damage. Like, him on top literally ate that up. That did. That did very little damage. I expected it to do much more. I was very surprised, but anyway, now I sent in this Braviary because unless it went for Stone Edge, I would be in a really good spot right now. And it actually went for, um, he actually switched out into his Ludicolo because I guess he expected me to switch back into something that his Ludicolo would have a good matchup. His ridiculous Ludicolo. His ridiculous Ludicolo, but, uh, no, Ludicolo has a terrible matchup against Braviary, so he's going to switch out again. So that is why I go for the Substitute. Now, uh, I told you guys at the beginning of this video, I didn't really know what items to put on some of my Pokemon, so I just kind of threw some stuff on there. I threw a Life Orb on Braviary. Life Orb was a terrible option, because I could have either put on Leftovers, which would help heal up residual damage for the Substitute and Brave Bird, or like a Flying Plate, because my only attack move is Brave Bird. My other moves are Roost and something else. Roost, Substitute, and Bulk Up. So, uh... I definitely should not have a life orb on this thing, but that's just what I put on there because I don't know. I'm stupid. I was just trying to get the stream started. So anyway, I go for the roost, and that's going to uh, fill up my HP. And he's gonna go for the bolt switch, I guess, expecting to break my sub, which I expected it to break. I expected it to break as well, but it doesn't even break my sub. So I guess that's proof how bad Cobalion's uh, special attack is 
I don't even know if there's any point of running Volt Switch over like U Can it learn U Turn? If it can learn U Turn, I don't know why you would run Volt Switch. But anyway, it doesn't matter. He says this Togedek, and on this Togetic, I go for the um, I go for the Brave Bird, and that's gonna do about 60% to this Togetic, which is good because Togetic is very bulky. So I'm uh, glad to get as much damage on there as possible. But as you can see, I uh, go for the um, uh, I as you can see, I get hit by the Brave Bird and uh, recoil and the Life Orb damage. Sorry about that, my brother's in here again. Um. Anyway, he uh, goes to the witch, wish, and switches into his Tauros to, uh, I guess, um, what am I saying? Oh, my boy is distracting me. He switches into his Tauros to get the wish boost, but I actually expected him to go for protect, so I go for the bulk up, and that, that's fine, so he basically wasted the wish there. But anyway, uh, it's kind of ironic that he has two Pokemon with Intimidate on his team, because uh, my Bravery has Defiance, so Intimidate would basically raise my attack, but unfortunately, I had a substitute, so I, my attack didn't get raised, but I don't know, kind of ironic, but... Didn't really have time to explain it because uh, I got distracted. But anyway, I go for the Brave Bird now. After he goes for the Wild Charge, it's going to break my sub. Apparently, Tauros can now speed Braviary. I don't even know either of their base speeds. But uh, I'm going to go kick my brother out again. Stop. You don't need to right now. Okay, I'm going to go kick my brother out again. Anyway. Hi. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. I don't even know what just happened. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway. He sent his Siglyph and goes to the Cosmic Power, I guess because he had to sack off something to this Brave Bird. Maybe, I don't know if he had an attack, any Pokemon that could outspeed. I guess he had no Pokemon that could outspeed me and uh, do an attack, except for this thing. I guess that thing didn't have any attacks, or maybe he thought he could live it, live a Brave Bird after uh, Cosmic Power. But it doesn't matter, my Brave Bird uses Brave Bird, takes out the Siglyph, but my Brave Bird is going to go down from the recoil and the Life Lord damage. I'm sorry, Brave Bird, one of my favorite Pokemon, if I... Uh, had uh, prepared correctly and given you leftovers, you could have destroyed his team, but I'm sorry, Braviary. Whatever. You did, you did good. Anyway, now I send in my Jolion, because, like I said before, when I lead it off with him, I have a very good matchup against uh, the bulk of his team. But now he switches into his Cobalion, I guess just to sack it off, because he has to uh, sack something off. So I go for the Thunderbolt. I am a uh, Choice Specs, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But anyway, I go for the uh, Thunderbolt. It's going to easily take out that Cobalion from like 10% HP or something like that. And he sends out his Ludicolo. And Ludicolo is, as I can tell from that skull, like I knew nothing about it beforehand, but as I can tell from the skull from Jelson, I'm guessing Ludicolo is like a special wall or something. Like I said, guys, I know nothing about RU or any other tiers that aren't OU. But so I switch into Don Juan, expecting him to switch back into a uh, into Hitmontop when I send him in. But he actually went to this for the skull instead of the Giga Drain, like I expected. So, um, Don Juan's gonna go down, unfortunately. Don Juan didn't get to do that much this battle. I'm sorry, Don Juan, you're the only Pokemon on this team that Skunk nicknamed. Yes, Skunk. Should've nicknamed the Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, thanks. Seriously, thanks, Skunk, by the way. Like, this is really nice of you to make me this team. But anyway, I send in my Jellicent, and he goes for the Giga Drain. Oh, yeah, here I actually made a mis misplay. I meant to, uh, send in Electros, because Electros could basically wa wall whatever. Not wall, but could've, done, could've not taken that much damage from whatever he threw at, from whatever he threw at me. Or at least, I don't, I don't even know. I guess Electros really wouldn't have. But, I don't know. I, I meant to send an Electros, but I sent in Jelson. Whatever. Both of them would have been bad switches. I had nothing to send in against this thing. And now I didn't want to switch in anything, because I didn't think anything would take a Giga Drain very well. But Hex does much less than I expected. So now I just sent in my Jolteon, which I probably should... No, I shouldn't have done in the first place. I should not have done it in the first place. But now I sent in my Jolteon, because I'm thinking after the burn, it'll be enough for me to take him out with the Thunderbolt. But he goes to the Giga Drain, and I guess I forgot or something that, uh... He could try and heal him. I don't. I don't know. My mind wasn't on. Like I was thinking about so much other things. Like what nature is like. I didn't even know anything about any of the Pokemon. So I just forgot. So I go for the Volt Switch now because Thunderbolt didn't have a hundred percent chance to kill, or at least I didn't think it did. So I went for the um Volt Switch because I didn't want my Jolteon to die. So I thought I'd just get some damage on it and then uh switch out, which may have been a mistake. I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh it doesn't matter. So I in my Jellicent, and he, I'm going to stack Jellicent off to the Giga Drain, because there's nothing else I wanted to, I, I don't know, I had nothing, this Ludicolo, man, did work against my team, I had like nothing for this Ludicolo, except for Braviary, which I let die, stupidly, by giving it a life orb, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, that's the past, the past is the past, now I send in my Claydol, because Ludicolo has 70 base speed, and Claydol has 75, so I expected to be able to outspeed this thing and kill it with a rabbit spin while getting off the rocks, even if I didn't kill it, I, I don't know, then I could kill it next turn. But he actually outspeeds me, so that tells me that he's either uh, has speed EVs or I have like a negative speed nature. And I have an attack move being earthquake and a special attack move being ice beam, so maybe I have a special uh, negative speed nature. But I'm not really sure because I didn't make this team and I didn't really have time. To, I didn't really bother to check except for like a check, but I didn't really remember. So unfortunately, that means my Claydol 
it, not my clip. Uh, no, no, no. Unfortunately, that means. Hmm. Why did Why did he switch out there? He probably could have just taken out my clay doll right there. But I guess he wanted. I, I don't know why he didn't switch out there. But anyway, he switches out, and I go for the ice beam. Hmm. Why did he switch out there? I didn't notice that before. He could have just taken out my clay doll with the Giga Drain. But for some reason, he did. He switched out and uh, into his toga tick. And I go for the Ice Beam, but Ice Beam doesn't do enough damage, and I expected the second Ice Beam to be able to kill. It doesn't. It does no damage. Toga took as a wall. Clayle has terrible special attack. I don't know why it's saying it's Ice Beam. It, it, it doesn't do any damage. But I guess it's a less bulky Pokemon it does. But he goes for the Witch. Wi witch. Wish. Wish. He goes for the Wish, and now I'm expecting him to go for the Protect, so I go for the Stealth Rocks, at least, to uh, take advantage of this free turn. I probably should have switched out on this turn, like maybe to Jolteon or something. I probably would have won the battle if I did, but... I, I didn't do that. I probably won the battle right there if I did that, but I didn't. Because I'm stupid. I went for the Stealth Rocks instead, because I'm like, oh, you got Prince, so Stealth Rocks. <laughs> so uh, I did that. Let's go for Ice Beam again, because now I'm like, I'm going to wait till the next turn he uh, uses Wish and then uses Protect, so I get a free switch out, because I didn't want to switch anything in to this thing, because I didn't know what his attack move was, assuming it had one. I, I just didn't want to take the risk of switching this thing in into anything. So yeah, now I go for Heal Bell just to get that burn off that Ludicolo, which I guess is annoying. But whatever. Uh. I just keep going for Ice Beam until it goes for Wish, which I believe is this next turn, yeah. So, um, that T Bigums goes for a Wish this turn. So now I'm like, okay, I'm expecting him to go for Protect, or maybe, like, switch into Ludicolo or something to get some HP, but I expect him to get a free switch in. So here I switched into, a uh, Jolteon, but he actually predicts that since I went for the Stealth Rocks last time, he predicts me to, uh, take advantage of this turn, this free turn. So he actually goes for the Fire Blast, which is annoying, but I'm like, whatever, it's not gonna kill my Jolteon, or is it? No, it's not going to kill my Jolteon, but, unfortunately, as you can see, it is going to get the burn on my Jolteon, which is really, 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 unfortunate, because now that means, uh, my Jolteon cannot sweep the rest of his team, which I'm pretty sure it would have been able to, uh, because the burn will make it die, but now he goes to protect, which I was so stupid, if I just switched out into Electros, the Electros or Claydol would have been able to finish off this Jolteon, I mean, this Togetic and Jolteon could have finished off his last two Pokemon. But for some reason, I decided to be stupid and stay stay in, even though I knew he probably would have gone to protect. And I stayed in, and then went for the Thunderbolt to at least kill this Togetic. But then Jolteon's gonna go down to the burn. So this these few turns really cost me. They might have lost me the battle. That uh, uh, looking back on that, that was so stupid of me. I was in such a good position. Like I had Jol Jolteon basically destroyed the rest of his team. He got burned, which is unlucky, but I still could have won, and I messed up. But that's, anyway, that's really unfortunate. I can't believe I did that, but whatever. Now I'm sitting in Electros, because uh, all I have left is Electros and Claydol, and all he has is him on me and um, Ludicolo. So I'm sitting in Electros, I guess, because why not? And I go for the Volt Switch, because that's the move that has the most, like, I can do the most damage to him on top. Of course, though, that means that I'm going to have to switch into my Claydol, because Volt Switch, that's what it's called, makes you switch out. So... Now it's in Claydol, and he has like seven eyes or eight eyes, just thought I'd point that out. I'm not really sure how many, I haven't bothered to count. One, two, three, four, five, I only see five, but there's probably more. Anyway, um, he is gonna go for, what, the Stone Edge? I don't know why he went for the Stone Edge. Like, he has Stone Edge, Toxic, Rapid Spin, no, 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 sorry, 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 my bad. He goes for the Toxic, because he obviously, he wants to poison me, and, uh, wear down my HP, as I go for the Earthquake to deal some damage on this thing, because I want this thing to die, because that's the point of the game, to win is to lower all of the opposing Pokemon's HP to zero. That's how you win the battle. So I go for Earthquake to lower that po using Pokemon's HP. So that's what I do. Anyway, um, my brother is being annoying again and trying to open my door. So, uh, sorry about uh, <laughs> getting distracted this whole video. But he goes for the Stone Edge, and that does not that much my Claydol. I guess that's maybe his other moves like... I don't know why he went for Stone Edge. I don't know what his last move is, but whatever. Maybe it's Taunt or something. I don't know. I go for Earthquake, and I think after this turn, he realizes that him on, him on top is going to die. And he decides to go for the Toxic again to, uh, so he can do the least amount of damage to me possible. Because he realized on this turn that, uh, the more damage I had, or the more health I had, the more, uh, HP his, uh, Ludicolo would get from Giga Drain. So that's why he decides to go for the Toxic that second turn. And I go for the Earthquake, and that's gonna take out the hit on top. And now it's Ludicolo, a very low HP Ludicolo, versus Claydol and Electros. And he thinks that a Claydol and Electros... Would be able to be a low, 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 so I got low, 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 low HP. Ludicolo, but you'd be thinking wrong, because Ludicolo has this thing called Giga Drain, and somehow it's gonna outspeed my Claydol, which I'm still not sure how. I haven't bothered to check my nature yet. I probably should do that. Also, maybe he has some speedy beats. I don't know, but... Oh, actually, I switch out. 
Never mind. So he will be able to ask me a play to later though. So I guess that sentence still makes sense. Because with the Giga Drain, it's gonna absorb so much HP. At this point, I lost. Like, I thought Electros could maybe eat up those Giga Drains a little more or do some more damage back to the Nicolo. But at this point, I lost after that first Giga Drain hit and after this full switch did about zero damage, approximately zero damage. Then I knew I had lost right about now. I was 100% sure because there's nothing that Claydol can do to this Ludicolo, and there's really nothing that Electros could do to this Ludicolo either. Claydol goes for the, uh, or if my Claydol had to decide to go for the Ice Beam because I think, well, actually, Earthquake probably would have done a little more damage, but it, oh man, Earthquake probably could have done more damage. But I don't think it mattered. Oh no, I did, did I even live this? I don't think I even live this. Yeah, I don't even live this. So, uh, I would probably want for the Ice Beam, but it doesn't matter. Because that Luke Cole is easily going to be able to, able to take out my Claydol with the Giga Train. And that's going to be the end of my Claydol. And now I just send in Electros, who is on very low HP. And now I decide to forfeit, because obviously that Giga Train is going to kill me. Um, I probably should have forfeited earlier, because by, uh, by the time it was Ludicolo versus the other two, like, once, uh, I don't know, once, once it was Claydol versus Ludicolo after I full switched out to him, I knew I'd lost, but it doesn't matter, I decided to forfeit, because why not, waste, didn't want to waste a couple seconds, so, um, good game, Skunk, thank you so much for making me this team, uh, like I said, guys, don't take anything out of this battle strategy-wise. I had no idea what I was doing. Hopefully, I'll try to get better. Maybe I'll post another RU video soon. Until then, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.